Greetings fellow gamers, I'm the Soulsborne Seeker and I'm back with a new video showcasing 18 upcoming indie metroidvania games you probably haven't heard of, expected to release sometime in 2023 or later. Before we start, as always a kind reminder to please consider subscribing to the channel if you end up enjoying this content, since it will help me reach even more people and spread the knowledge far and wide. And now, without further ado, let's dive into it. We begin our journey with Blade Chimera, a 2D action-adventure metroidvania game with heavy cyberpunk and occult influences. The game takes place in a near future that finds the world's humans engaged in an all-out war against legions of monstrosities that suddenly appeared out of nowhere, swarming cities and slaughtering everyone in their path. Following 30 years of struggle, the surviving humans finally band together to form the Mesa Association, a religious group led by an enigmatic person that knows the secret to eradicating the demonic creatures, which eventually leads to humanity returning to a semblance of normalcy despite the continuous existence of the abominations. You take on the role of Shin, an amnesiac man that's rescued from among rubble in a cryopreserved state, and quickly goes on to become one of the association's best fighters. Spending his days destroying the creatures, things take an odd turn for Shin when he comes across a beautiful demon named Lux, who evokes a strange familiarity he cannot explain. Going against the creeds of the association, Shin allows Lux to accompany him in the form of a sword named Lumina, a decision that leads to shocking revelations about the events that led to the current state of the world as he begins to recollect his memories and past skills one by one. An interesting mechanic of Blade Chimera is that of the sword itself, which can change forms according to the different abilities that you will acquire, thus leading to your capability of reaching previously unreachable areas, as well as protecting your and destroying your enemies in various different ways. Aside from Lumina, Shin will also gain access to a variety of other weapons that will allow him to wreak havoc on his foes, including swift daggers as well as long-ranged weapons among others. It is of note that the game is being developed by the same team that gave us the highly successful record of Lodos War Diddlet in Wonder Labyrinth, which means that we can expect something interesting here as well. Blade Chimera is expected to release sometime in 2024 and has been confirmed for PC and Nintendo Switch. Next comes Still Flood, an action-packed metroidvania title with science fiction elements. The story of Still Flood transpires in a world where humans have been forced into hiding after the uprising of the machines, who are now wandering the world in search of materials to improve themselves. What stands out about this game is its weather system, with climate playing an important part in the exploration of this dystopian, interconnected realm as you harness nature in order to discover new areas and secrets. Still Flood has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. Following we have Eden's Guardian, a dark fantasy metroidvania showing influences from titles like Blasphemous and Hollow Knight. As the game's history goes, during ancient times a god fell in love with a mortal, and from their union resulted two children who inherited divine powers. Acting as guardians of the realm, the siblings ruled their domain until eventually they felt their power wane. In a desperate attempt to maintain dominance, they turned to a dark force that gave them the desired strength, but at the cost of their sanity. Here you brandish the blade of a warrior that was imprisoned after she tried to oppose the madness of the Guardians. Finally free after many years, she is faced with a crumbling world that is a far cry from the beautiful land she knew before she was shackled. Thus, she embarks on a journey to uncover what led to this downfall and fight back against the darkness consuming her home. The game will offer challenging combat and tough platforming segments which are enhanced by a mechanic that allows you to throw your sword and then teleport to it, effectively allowing you to plan out surprise attacks to unsuspecting enemies, as well as traverse dangerous areas and reach parts of the map that would be inaccessible by a normal means of movement. Eden's Guardian has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC.
Moving on, there is Luna's Light, a 2D pixel art metroidvania game with a strong narrative focus. Luna's Light is situated in a post-apocalyptic world filled with danger and cruelty. You step into the shoes of a young huntress that is forced to leave her village and brave the perils of this realm with her trusty bow as her only companion. Luna's Light will pit you against a variety of different foes, including bandits, wild animals, challenging platforming areas, as well as powerful bosses. The game will also feature a quest system that will allow you to complete tasks across the map in return for useful rewards. Rewards. Of note here is the protagonist's main weapon, with your bow featuring the usage of different types of arrows that are meant to assist in various situations, ranging from combat scenarios all the way to environmental exploration. Luna's Light is slated for release on February of 2024 and has been confirmed for PC. Farther down the path we have Exophobia, a gritty science fiction first-person shooter metroidvania title inspired by games like Doom and Duke Nukem. In Exophobia you will get to explore and fight your way through a crashed human spaceship that has been overrun by hostile alien creatures as you try to locate and rescue any remaining survivors while at the same time slowly piecing together what led to the ship's crashing in the first place. The game places a lot of focus on fast-paced combat against hordes of enemies that you will get to blast and dismember using a variety of different abilities based on weapon upgrades you find, some of which will also be allowing you to access previously inaccessible areas of the spaceship in true metroidvania fashion. If you are a fan of stylish and gory first person shooters and enjoy science fiction settings, this game might be right up your alley. Exophobia is expected to release sometime in the remainder of 2023 and has been confirmed for PC, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, as well as the Xbox Series X and Series S. Next up there is the Red Celine, another grim metroidvania game strongly influenced by the genre of science fiction, drawing large inspiration from the Dead Space series. The Red Celine focuses on a space colony named EC-21 Janus, a vast interconnected construct on a secret mission to extract valuable materials from the moon of the titular name. You don the space helmet of Aaron, a bounty hunter who crash lands on the colony after a dogfight with some bandits damages his spaceship. Hoping to seek help for repairs from the colony, he instead finds a dilapidated world filled with biological horrors that roam its corridors in search of their next victim. While sharing some similarities in theme with the previously mentioned exophobia which has you blasting through aliens, the Red Celine places much more focus on survival horror, necessitating the search and management of items across the biomes you will explore in order to ensure that you don't end up as food for the monsters. Combat aside, there's also a lot of focus on exploration and puzzle solving, both of which will lead you to the discovery of interesting secrets that could make the difference between life and death. The Red Celine has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. Then comes an amazing wizard, a 2D metroidvania roguelite hybrid with a strong focus on player creativity and experimentation. Born in a village comprised entirely of spellcasters, our protagonist is a boy that comes once every millennium, a person incapable of casting spells on his own and instead relying on a set of magic hands to do that for him. Being in the unfortunate position of having his memory stolen from him, our hero embarks on a quest to reclaim his recollections while at the same time trying to find out the truth about his power. The game features five different biomes that you will get to explore, all of which get distorted by chaos every time you die, thus making each visit feel fresh, with new secrets to discover and new challenges to overcome based on a system of procedural generation. What's very exciting here is that you'll get an incredible amount of spells, items and enchantments that you will be able to mix and match, effectively developing different builds and abilities to take on the dangers of this world. From a summoner to a melee brawler, all the way to shooting fireballs with a boomerang effect, the sky is the limit when it comes to the possibilities offered by the amount of customization present. An Amazing Wizard is expected to release sometime near the end of 2024 and has been confirmed for PC, with further plans for consoles later on.
coming up next we have Morkul Raga's Rage, a 2D comedic metroidvania game with a very interesting approach to its main character. The game places you in the position of Morkul, god of death and darkness and lord of the realm of Ragas. What's special about Morkul, however, is not his authority over his world, but the fact that he knows he is in a video game, which allows him to break the fourth wall and speak to you, the player, as you guide him through the map in order to fulfill his wish to escape Ragas and take over the world. The game will feature a diverse combat system for you to eradicate your enemies with, though undoubtedly, part of its charm will lie in the witty and charismatic personality of its main character as he quips and makes bad jokes and pop culture references in a manner reminiscent of the beloved Deadpool. Morkul Raga's Rage has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch, as well as the Xbox Series X and Series S. Going onwards there is Kai, a Kitsune Journey, an action-adventure metroidvania inspired by Japanese folklore with an emphasis on yokai. You are Kai, a Kitsune stuck in child's shape as you explore a world influenced by the haunting geography of Japan in search for answers that will eventually force you to face your own self. Exploration plays a very important role in the game, with environmental puzzle solving and abilities focused on shape shifting allowing you to discover new areas and obtain much desired power ups that will help you overcome your foes. Kai A Kitsune Journey has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. Next comes Volpis, a pixel art metroidvania game placing a lot of weight on exploration and discovery. Here you'll get to guide the lonely fox across the vast, interconnected planet of Volpis as our furry friend tries to find a way back home. The game features non-linear exploration, thus allowing you to discover the map in the order of your choosing, a map filled to the brim with secrets and collectibles as well as power-ups and unlockable abilities. Combat will also be of importance since your quest will pit you against various different enemies including some powerful bosses. It should also be noted that the game features multiple endings, meaning that it can benefit from repeated playthroughs. Volpis has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. Next on our way we find Volatility, a 3D metroidvania game influenced by adventure games of the 90s and early 2000s. Volatility places its narrative on a dying, artificial world that is slowly collapsing upon itself. Without any knowledge of what you are or why you ended up here, you must find a way to escape before the inevitable distraction of the place. The map of Volatility is comprised of several floating islands that you will get to explore, most of which will feature dungeons for you to plunder and acquire the treasures hidden within. As you progress through the story, new abilities such as laser riding and chain slashing will become available to you, which will allow easier traversal of the world as well as access to previously inaccessible areas. Of note here is that the game involves varied types of gameplay such as third-person shooting and top-down action, which keeps the experience engaging during your playthrough. Volatility is expected to release sometime in the first quarter of 2024 and has been confirmed for PC.
Continuing our journey, there is Caved In, a colorful 2D metroidvania full of combat and exploration. The game is about Cobalt, a little robot that's discovered by a band of adventurers who reboot it and let it go on a perilous adventure to find a rare item known as the Celestial Lotus. While it is expected to be short in length, Caved In is packed with different abilities and weapons for you to discover across 8 different biomes that you'll get to investigate, each one home to memorable NPCs with their own stories to tell. Caved In is expected to release sometime near the end of 2020 and has been confirmed for PC. Following we have Draken's Shrine, a fantasy action platformer metroidvania title whose art style pays tribute to game visuals from the 90s. Draken's Shrine lets you unleash the fury of Rin Draken, a female barbarian raised in the wild who, influenced by stories her mother has told her, decides to embark on a quest across the land of Belheim in search of her deceased father's tomb. However, she quickly realizes that she's not the only one seeking the final resting place of her parent as unknown forces clash against her in an effort to erase the memory of her father from history. The game will feature a diverse range of biomes, a quest system as well as a skill tree that will allow Rin to gain access to new abilities that will assist her on her journey. Draken Shrine has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. Carrying on, our trip brings us to Reina and Jericho, an action-adventure platformer metroidvania with science fiction elements and a strong focus on narrative. The game thrusts you into the role of Reina, a woman in possession of a powerful artifact that allows her to manipulate time itself. Trapped inside an underground fortress, Reina must rescue a prisoner and then find a way for both of them to escape the complex, all the while fighting against the forces of an evil tyrant. What stands out about Reina and Jericho is the aforementioned time-traveling gimmick, which will help you solve time-bending puzzles as well as travel back to previously impassable obstacles that you will now be able to overcome with new knowledge and abilities you'll have obtained. Reina and Jericho has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. The device is unchanged. There's a way for all of us to get what we want. No one has to die. Take care not to save him at the cost of losing yourself. A bit beyond there's Green Hunter, a 2D pixel art metroidvania title focused on strategic combat and fun exploration. Green Hunter is situated in the underground kingdom of Gellimore, a harsh place where only the most skilled individuals can survive, individuals called Hunters, one of which is our very own protagonist. One day, our hunter receives a letter from the capital asking for his assistance, and so he embarks on a quest to seek out the sender, oblivious to how this simple task will lead him to an adventure of a lifetime. The game's combat takes center stage here, as you are required to observe your enemies closely before deciding your next move in order to emerge victorious. There's also a skill tree involved which will allow you to upgrade your character in a way that matches your desired playstyle. Green Hunter has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC.
Third from the end we have Voice of Flowers, an action platformer metroidvania title inspired by old classics such as the Super Mario franchise. Eons ago the world of Devetlam suffered a massive cataclysm that fractured the land and resulted in various floating islands to scatter across the realm. You play as Hana, a member of a cat-like race known as Kemaim who goes on a journey to explore the Sander Devetlam in her attempt to bring down a massive technological empire and hopefully restore the world back to its prime. The game stands out by its unique approach to combat and exploration, which draws heavily from the Super Mario series of games. Enemies can be defeated by being jumped upon, with some of them also being able to be used as weapons in a similar way to the turtles from the Mario titles. Hana can also break environmental blocks by jumping under them, which can lead to discovering secret areas as well as finding useful items. Voice of Flowers is expected to come out sometime in 2024 and has been confirmed for PC. Nearing the finale, there's Nitrojet, a chaotic metroidvania game that's all about environmental destruction. Nitrojet will have you engaging in frenzied fights against airborne enemies as you are trying to save your world from complete eradication. The game's gimmick is that literally everything you see is destructible, from the setting all the way to the characters you come across, allowing for complete creativity when it comes to how you wish to approach combat and exploration. With legions of enemies constantly after you, you can expect some intense, fast-paced battle sequences where one mistake can cause you dearly. Nitrojet is expected to come out on the 28th of November 2023 and has been confirmed for PC. Finally, we have Moonlight Traveler, a 2D metroidvania game inspired by Hollow Knight and The Legend of Zelda. Being still in early development, not much is known about the game's story, but it has been established that Moonlight Traveler will feature backtracking and ability-gated exploration in order to reach previously inaccessible areas, as expected from the genre. Moonlight Traveler has no release date as of yet, but has been confirmed for PC. What did you think of these games? Did you already know about them? Are you planning to try any of them out? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to point out any obscure titles you may have come across. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, Soulsborne Seeker out!